It started as just another faint streak of light, a lonely traveler in the vast, cold darkness of our solar system. But as telescopes from NASA and Harvard turned their gaze upon it, they knew this was different. This mysterious interstellar visitor, designated 3 Eye Atlas, was not traveling alone. Behind it, a vast and growing swarm followed, over 4,000 newly detected meteors, moving in perfect, silent formation, like a cosmic escort through the void. At first, scientists tried to explain it away. It had to be noise, sensor glitches, bad data, but night after night the same impossible pattern emerged. Every simulation, every calculation pointed toward one destination, Earth's orbital neighborhood, and with each new observation, the numbers became clearer and far more alarming. You see, 3i Atlas wasn't supposed to be here. Its path suggested it came from deep space, far beyond our sun's gravitational pull, much like the famous visitors Oumuamua and Borisov. But this one was changing. It was getting brighter, expanding, and now it was gathering companions. NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory called it a gravitational mystery. Over at Harvard, they called it something much stranger, a cosmic shepherd. Imagine the scene when astronomer Dr. Livia Kessler presented the first compiled data. A room full of the world's most brilliant minds fell completely silent. 4,000 distinct objects, each with its own mass and density, all following a synchronized path right behind 3 Eye Atlas. It was as if this object wasn't just drifting, it was leading. But how? she asked. Comets don't form gravitational bonds like this. And they certainly don't command an escort. The discovery sent shockwaves through every space agency on the planet. NASA and Harvard released a joint statement, cautious but with an undercurrent of urgency. They confirmed it. Thousands of smaller bodies were following 3 Eye Atlas, probably fragments caught in its wake. But privately the researchers were terrified. Some whispered it was debris from a destroyed planet, a ghost from a system long gone. Others feared something far more unsettling, an artificially controlled formation, the remnants of a long-dead civilization's probe, guiding, or being guided, across the stars. For the first time in modern history, science found itself brushing up against the edge of myth. The more data they collected, the stranger the story became. 3 Eye Atlas wasn't just reflecting sunlight, it was emitting its own strange infrared pulses. They were irregular bursts that didn't match any known cometary behavior. The readings looked like communication pings, structured, rhythmic, and deliberate. So, at Harvard's Center for Astrophysics, a quiet experiment began. They tried to decode the signal. Hours turned into days and days into weeks. Then, something incredible emerged from the noise. The pulse intervals matched a clear mathematical sequence. Prime numbers. Nature doesn't send primes. Intelligence does. And then came the second gut punch. NASA's orbital simulations, updated with the new tracking data, predicted something chilling. The 4,000 meteors weren't just drifting. They were moving in a tight, consistent corridor, an approach vector that would intersect Earth's orbital plane by the year 2030. The official statement used soft language, calling it a high-density debris flux. But inside the agency, panic was spreading like wildfire. Because every single scenario, every predictive model they ran, led to one terrifying conclusion. The swarm is coming with 3 Eye Atlas, and it's coming fast. As Dr. Kessler put it, if this data holds, we are witnessing the largest coordinated meteor movement in recorded history. And it's heading straight for us. But even in the midst of that fear, one question haunted every scientist. Was this cosmic convoy just a freak accident of physics, or was something guiding it? The following weeks brought no answers, only more questions. Telescopes in Chile, Hawaii, and across the globe locked onto 3 Eye Atlas. Each night it grew brighter, its tail stretching farther than astronomers had ever seen. And the meteors behind it glittered faintly, like a drifting army of embers moving through the cosmic dark. NASA's high-gain antennas began picking up subtle electromagnetic ripples, faint but patterned. The pulses echoed through the deep space network like whispers carried across oceans of nothingness. At first they seemed random, but soon the rhythm became hauntingly familiar. 
It was the same sequence they'd discovered weeks earlier. Prime intervals, repeating over and over, pulsing through space like a coded heartbeat. At Harvard, Dr. Kessler's team hesitated. The last thing they wanted was to cause a global panic. But the evidence was undeniable. The data suggested these signals weren't just bouncing off 3 eye Atlas. They were coming from it. But how could a rock, a frozen chunk of dust and ice, send a structured signal across billions of miles of empty space? The deeper they looked, the weirder it got. When the James Webb Space Telescope finally locked on, its powerful infrared sensors captured something astonishing. 3 eye Atlas wasn't a single solid object anymore. It appeared fragmented, and its core was radiating heat in bursts, far more than solar radiation could explain. Something inside it was active. Some at NASA tried to rationalize it, calling it a natural reactor, a volatile mix of exotic ices and metals reacting violently to the sun. But others weren't buying it. An internal memo leaked weeks later described mechanical symmetries inside the core, metallic reflections and geometric shadows that just couldn't belong to natural mineral patterns. Publicly, the agency stayed silent. But behind closed doors, urgency was turning to dread. The swarm, those 4,000 meteors, had now spread into multiple streams, weaving behind the parent body like coordinated satellites. They seemed to adjust their paths, subtly realigning whenever 3 I Atlas shifted. That's when Harvard issued its most chilling advisory yet. We are observing intelligent motion, whether natural or artificial remains uncertain. That single phrase sparked a firestorm of global debate. Could gravity alone mimic intelligence? Could space debris align itself so perfectly? The truth was nobody knew. Then came the next shock. NASA AS impact models projected that several of the smaller bodies would enter the Earth-Moon system within the next five years. They weren't big enough to cause an extinction-level event, but the energy release could still be catastrophic. And amid the growing panic, one anomaly stood out. A single rogue meteor had broken formation. It was moving faster than the rest, heading directly for the inner solar system. They labeled it Object Sigma. Its trajectory would bring it uncomfortably close to Earth by 2029. Object Sigma's behavior defied every law of physics they knew. It didn't slow down. It didn't drift. It accelerated. Something was propelling it. Harvard's AI models started spitting out unprecedented scenarios. A controlled probe, a beacon, or even a signal relay. The scientific community was split down the middle. But when Voyager 2, still transmitting faint whispers from the edge of interstellar space, registered a return signal in the exact same frequency as 3i Atlas's pulses, disbelief turned into quiet dread. The signal wasn't one way. Whatever 3i Atlas was, it was listening. Suddenly, governments began restricting real-time data. Observatories received sudden funding cuts, data streams were encrypted, and amateur astronomers noticed that their telescope access was mysteriously under maintenance. The message was clear. Something huge was being prepared behind the scenes. Meanwhile, 3 I Atlas continued its silent march across the stars, its luminous core pulsing with eerie precision, its trail of thousands following like loyal sentinels. NASA and Harvard both released their final public updates. At this time, there is no cause for alarm. 3i Atlas poses no immediate threat to Earth. But inside Mission Control, the private briefings told a very different story. The swarm was accelerating. The arrival date had moved closer. And with every passing hour, the signals grew louder, stronger, and clearer. Some scientists whispered that we weren't just witnessing a comet's path, but a summoning. Others believed it was a relic. An ancient machine finally waking up after eons adrift in the cold. Whatever the truth, one fact remained. The swarm was coming, and nothing in human history could stop it. As the world looked up at the night sky, completely unaware of the approaching storm, the faint glimmer of three eye Atlas shimmered like a distant eye, watching, waiting, and perhaps remembering. And somewhere in the static of deep space transmissions, one final coded pulse echoed through the silence of the cosmos. We are not alone.
Thank you so much for joining me on this incredible journey. What do you think is guiding 3i Atlas? Let me know your theories in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this story, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss our next deep dive into the mysteries of the universe. See you next time.